Hey, one of the biggest issues I hear with people who like are avoiding creating content regularly is they're they're worried that they're not going to know what to say or that they know what to say for a few weeks and then they're going to run out of content. So I know what happens is sometimes you open up a blank Google Doc or a Word Doc and you just stare at it blankly and like the cursor is just blinking at you. Curse, blinking cursor syndrome, I call that. And so here's a really easy thing to get content ideas. Look at your calendar. So I looked at my calendar and I saw what I did yesterday, who I met with. And frankly, just from my, my um, calls with my clients yesterday, here are some of the content ideas that came from the questions they had or the issues that we were working through. One of my clients is really concerned about the niche that she chose. It's not responding the way she thought it would. We have to switch her niche a little bit, fine tune it a little bit. And her big question is, am I niche ditching? You know, she's kind of like worried that she's niche surfing. And so that would be a piece of content I can address in the future in my own content. It's a great question, right? People have that issue a lot. The Another client and I were walking about talking about um, what feels good in her marketing and what feels too pushy to her and just understanding the difference between what's in alignment for her business and what would feel gross if she was receiving it. Another whole piece of content for me to talk about, right? Um, Another client I was working with, she's like, what if my, my, what I'm doing isn't working, what can we tweak? And so I could do a whole series on what to do if what you're currently doing isn't working. It's not the end of the world. We're not guaranteed that things are going to work. Remember, there's no one plug and play thing to do. So that would be a whole bunch of content I could do. And frankly, the last person I talked to, um, she was facing some resistance around her branding and making a decision on where to go with her branding. And so I had to kind of pick apart for her what's the story deep inside that's making that resistance show up. So right there, I have four pieces of content that I could do a ton with. I could have a whole month of content on, am I, ditch, am I niche ditching or niche, niche surfing? Um, how do you know what feels good in your marketing versus what's in alignment? Like you have so much stuff that you talk about every day that you're an expert at that you can share with your audience at a very high level. You don't have to coach them or give them, give it all away, but you really can address it at a high level. And so I just want to encourage you when you feel like I don't know what to talk about in my content next month, go to your calendar just yesterday. You never have to stare at a blank page again. I promise you there's so much goodness already inside what you're already doing, what you're already talking about with your clients and even with your friends. So give that a try. Let me know how this resonates with you. My name is Jen Liddy. I'm a business development coach and I help people create content that feels fun and easy so they can be seen in their business. Talk to you soon. Bye.